Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Dax here. So, today's video, Bruce Lee and grappling. So, for the most part, uh, most martial artists, including those in the grappling communities, uh, really respect Bruce Lee and they know that Bruce trained in catch wrestling and judo. <clears throat> but, still, there's some haters out there who love to say that Bruce didn't know grappling and that he was just an actor and therefore could not really fight so today we're going to dig into this a little bit uh, or a lot of it actually i'm going to give you the complete history of grappling within jkd now right off the bat gene labelle was not bruce lee's first grappling instructor as people love to say Bruce Lee's first grappling instructor was actually Jesse Glover, who was his first student here in the United States. Now, in Bruce Lee's books, he talks about how he actually did not like teaching. Okay, he actually really taught when he needed money, but he preferred to learn. And a lot of his students were actually more of a mutually beneficial relationship in which he would teach them what he knew and in turn they would teach <clears throat> Bruce what they knew and Jesse Glover was no different uh, when Bruce met Jesse Glover he was a world champion judoka okay um, so Afterwards, when Bruce Lee got his first acting gigs on the set of The Green Hornet and met Gene LaBelle, Bruce already knew some judo, okay? Um, so <clears throat> Gene taught him some catch wrestling stuff that he learned from Luthez and Ed the Strangler Lewis. <clears throat> uh, but this wasn't Bruce Lee's only catch wrestling influence, okay? Uh, Jack Dempsey, who was a champion boxer and catch wrestler, wrote a book called How to Fight Tough, which was used to train the Coast Guard, preparing for unarmed combat. And in this book, Jack has a lot of signature catch wrestling submissions such as uh, front figure four, the sleeper hold, leg locks. Um, and <clears throat> Bruce Lee has a lot of these submissions drawn out from Dempsey's book in the Tao of JKD. And I have a lot of them in this uh, <clears throat> poster back here, okay? Um, another big influence on Bruce Lee was the Great Gama. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Great Gama was probably the greatest wrestler that ever lived. Um, <clears throat> he was born in British India to a family of champion wrestlers and the Great Gama went on to be undefeated. Um, he traveled to Europe, uh, beat catch wrestlers there, beat uh, well-known judokas, and a lot of people wouldn't even, you know, Carl Gotch included, would not even uh, accept his challenge matches because they had that much respect for the Great Gama. Now I'm going to talk about some uh, unorthodox influences. Um, you know, most nowadays most people think of grappling as uh, wrestling or jiu-jitsu. Um, but Bruce also took some grappling influences from uh, some unorthodox uh, sources. Um, <clears throat> first one is Sealot. Uh, Bruce studied Sealot under William Readers. And Sealot is primarily a bladed martial art. But if you look at the ground fighting of Sila, and there's tons of videos on YouTube that you can look this up, the ground fighting of Sila resembles 
certain aspects of catch, certain uh, locks that they do, including leg locks and uh, cross face. And even um, Silat has some techniques of which your opponent is standing and you're on the ground laying down. And um, <clears throat> they have sweeps from this position that if you look at a lot of these new BJJ guys, uh, they're using, you know, x Guard and De La Hiva. Uh, C-Lot has a lot of that stuff in it, okay, that look very similar to these new guards that a lot of BJJ guys are using. And lastly, um, Bruce studied under Wally J, Small Circle Jiu-Jitsu. And this is what Bruce Lee talks about when he mentions small joint manipulation in his, uh, in his book. Um, all these influences, okay, which resulted in a total of 33 te grappling techniques that Bruce Lee had at the, uh, at the time before he died, he taught to his last student, Larry Hartsell, right, who was... <clears throat> uh, well-versed in wrestling. Uh, so from Bruce Lee's first student to his last student, uh, grappling was involved, always in the evolution of Jeet Kune Do. Um, with Larry, he basically <clears throat> taught him these 33 techniques and told him to uh, further evolve, <clears throat> to continue researching different arts and uh, keep it going and when Bruce Lee died he did just that he opened up the JKD Grappling Association and he continued to study under uh, different instructors he learned Sambo he learned Jiu Jitsu he learned shoot wrestling and it is my belief that if Larry Hartzell was still alive a lot of you guys out there talking crap about Bruce Lee would shut the hell up because Larry Hartzell would have you on the ground in a pretzel screaming in pain. Larry Hartzell was extremely ahead of his time. Okay. Uh, I also have to talk about my instructor, Paul Bunak, who trained under Danny Nosanto and Larry Hartzell. He was one of the first Americans to train in the early 80s with the Gracies, okay? This was before the UFC even first came out. He was training in their garage uh, with Hoist and Hickson were his main instructors, even though he did train under Hoyler and Horion. Um, <clears throat> by the mid 80s, actually 1985, um, Danny Yosato decided to include uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu into the JKD curriculum. So, um, and also, in 1989, <clears throat> Dan invited Yori Nakamura, who's a shoot wrestling expert. And for those of you who don't know, shoot wrestling is basically Japanese catch. Um, Nori, uh, Yori Nakamura came, uh, taught all the uh, JKD guys at the time. And one of those guys was Eric Paulson, okay? In 1993, Eric Paulson went on to win the shoot wrestling championship or shoot fighting championship, okay? So since the beginning, <clears throat> JKD has been at the forefront of grappling. And uh, those of you out there who continue to talk crap about Bruce Lee and saying that he didn't know grappling, either are ignorant or you're butthurt jealous that JKD has been doing this for over 50 years. A lot of stuff that people are just now figuring out and oh, let's mix this, oh, let's do this leg lock, oh, let's you know do this guard. JKD was already mixing a lot of these grappling techniques together. <clears throat> For the last 50 years okay if you like the video go ahead and give me a like and i'll see you next time